So the way to learn more about Bootstrap is simple. Just go to your uh, browser and search for Bootstrap for snippets. So snippets is just a bunch of code that some people wrote. You understand sample codes that some people wrote. Sometimes it's good to browse around to see some sample codes some people wrote so that if you ever need any of them, you will be able to um, to get them. All right. So let's see. This is... um. Bootstrap 4 code examples and um, 10 Bootstrap 4 code snippets that will make it okay. I'll, so just make sure that you can open a whole lot of uh, a whole lot more. I'm just going to open this too to show you uh, the whole Bootstrap 4 snippets thing. People are all over the internet writing sample codes for Bootstrap 4. This is one website I found it through Google and it's Media Loot. In case you're looking for it from Google, so these are 10 Bootstrap 4 codes. That will make your life easier. Vertical alignment, uh, login screen with form, uh, view the login screen with form. So if you had this code, you'll be able to have a login screen with a form. Look at a very nice login screen. You just copy the code, paste it, and start using it. So this one is a Bootstrap 4 form template. And look at what it looks like. If we click on this, we'll see what it looks like. So that's it. Then uh, we can check out other websites for more comprehensive code snippets. This one is opening. So this is the one I like, bootsnip.com. If you go to bootsnip, I get a lot of code from this bootsnip. You understand? So you search for Bootstrap 4.0, uh, you understand? Then you can see a whole lot of codes. These are sample codes people have written. You understand? Look at Bootstrap 4 table. These are sample table codes. Uh, these ones and you see if you look at the bottom you see the pagination that there is a lot of a lot still left all right so i think this is what makes sense and you can search for bootstrap for let's say you're looking for bootstrap for login form that you don't want to create a login form by yourself uh, so we can click on search for this bootstrap for login form and uh, you keep your eye here. This is Bootstrap 3, Bootstrap 3. Then if you scroll around, you can find Bootstrap 4. Bootstrap 4 is fairly new. And that's why uh, not many codes are available on it. All right, look at Bootstrap 4.1. So after making a search, you can adjust it by selecting the snippet. You see, sign up form. You see this one? These are cards. So people sit down, write custom Bootstrap codes and put it on this website, bootsnip.com. You search for the code, click on snippets, and then select the version, and you're good. You see sample login pages, sample shopping cart, um, heartbeat. So people are dumping codes here. So if you click on the bottom, you see more. So that's it um, for finding snippets. These ones are sample codes. What are sample libraries that you can import and use in your application? There can be um, a lot of sample libraries at the end of the day. So let's go search for it. Go to Google and um, search for Bootstrap 4. For um, uh, my system is hanging. So Bootstra Bootstrap 4 plugins. Bootstrap 4 plugin. So when you search for it, you will see a whole lot of plugins for Bootstrap 4. See Bootstrap 4 jQuery plugins. jQuery Bootstrap 4 plugins. I'm going to have to open this. Bootstrap 4 resources and plugin list. So you will see a whole lot 30 Bootstrap 4 plugins to turbocharge your development. There are many, many plugins that will make sense. You know, uh, Bootstrap is just a collection of plugins. All these things are plugins that come by default with Bootstrap. So if you go and Google, you'll see uh, more that, like we're doing. We'll see more things that you can do with Bootstrap, but you have to get them off of Google. Look at 2017. Um, Fuel UX extends Bootstrap with additional lights with JavaScript controls. You check it out, see the controls they have. Jenny Bootstrap uh, is a component package that many of us will find useful, including label button buttons, you see, off canvas menu component, fixed top alerts, Impute mask, so it comes with a lot of things. Uh, this one is Echo Light Box. 
the module for bootstrap that supports images youtube videos and galleries okay so if you're building something like that so just take your time scroll through you'll see a whole lot a whole lot all right so that's how to extend your bootstrap let's look at just one more page and um, this one i like this one is just all about jquery this one handles drop downs uh, this one handles um, models with extra features and if you keep scrolling down you'll see a whole lot of things you can do with bootstrap and each of them has the guide the little guide on how to do that now finally what we're going to check out is bootstrap uh, templates bootstrap for templates so when we have bootstrap for templates like this so these ones are free ones if you want free ones you can add free in your search so you right click open uh, bootstrap for template for 2018 so people are writing a lot of templates and some of them are free some of them are paid so you understanding bootstrap 4 helps you to easily manipulate the template you download it and then go into the code they have written and use it so a template is basically an already built website for instance i can put up this one the udemy clone as template that we designed this one we designed i can put it up as a template so this is basically what a template is all right so uh, when it opens you scroll down you start seeing all the sites that people have designed with bootstrap 4 beautiful site and you can download them very beautiful you can download them and work with them all right so um they are endless look at this one template look at these ones very beautiful designs even this one is an admin template smart bootstrap very beautiful designs very beautiful you take them with your knowledge of bootstrap you modify them to look like what you want you understand these ones are default templates that they have already arranged but no fancy designs so you take them and add your own fancy designs all right so thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this whole course series and i hope it's taught you bootstrap from basics to advanced uh, see you